What's going on guys, Bunks here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you the portal coordinates to five insanely beautiful paradise planets in the Eastern Time Galaxy which is also dubbed the Paradise Galaxy due to the fact that it is much more stacked full of lush and paradise planets compared to the other No Man's Sky galaxies. Each of these paradise planets are totally unique and all of them have completely different colours and finally one of them is very Earth-like. I have also decided to include a lush planet which does have storms and sentinels but it was too awesome not to show you it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get stuck in. Now of course you're going to need to be in the Eastern Time Galaxy to see these paradise planets and as Eastern Time is the 10th galaxy you'd visit in your No Man's Sky journey, you may be wondering how you can quickly get there. Well good news because I put out a video a few days ago where I show you how you can get to the Eastern Time Galaxy in no time at all so why don't you check out that video as well. And a bonus for that video is it will also show you how you can quickly find portals so then you can easily visit these amazing paradise planets. You will also need to have unlocked all 16 the portal glyphs and the good news is I have also created a video in the past on how showing you how to do just that. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below for you. As all bar one of these planets are true paradise planets that means there are no storms, no sentinels and they are tr all truly stunning in their own unique way so they're all perfect planets to set up a new base on and call home. Once you've seen them all let me know in the comments below which one is your favourite and also if you have any Paul coordinates to other paradise planets and Eastern Time or any other galaxy for that matter why don't you leave them in a comment so myself and other players can check them out. Who knows, they may feature in one of my future videos and I will give credit to anyone who gives me a brand new paradise planet. Now let's go and have a look at the paradise planets in this video. So I'll start off with that bubble lush planet which does have some sentinels and storms but I thought it was too cool to leave out because who doesn't love a bubble planet in No Man's Sky right? Anyways, besides it having plenty of bubbles it also has some really awesome looking plants which seemed pretty unique to me. I've not seen any planet with these trees before, not to mention it does have a stunning purple ground with some bright blue water and beaches to go with it. And finally, the ground and plants also glow at night, so if you can bypass the fact this planet has the occasional storm and some sentinels roaming around, it is definitely an awesome planet to go and visit and perhaps set up a new base on. The portal coordinates to this very colourful lush planet are bird, sunset, dragonfly, balloon, sunset, bug, Sunset, Sunset, Diplo, Sunset, Sunset and finally another Diplo. Next up is an orange planet which has quite a few hills so it means you can get some truly stunning views when exploring this one. I definitely recommend popping up to the top of the nearest tall hill and just taking in the view because you can watch it all day. It does have a very autumnal vibe this planet or fall if you're in America and not to mention it does also have Triceratops creatures on it or as near as to a Triceratops as I've ever seen in No Man's Sky anyway, so you can get one of those as a new companion. The portal coordinates to come and visit this autumnal or fall planet are Face, Sunset, Tree, Voxel, Sunset, Sunset, Diplo, Galaxy, Voxel, Voxel, Bug and finally another tree. Now this next paradise planet is the first one for me, I've seen plenty of purple paradise planets but never a pink one, guessing they're more common in the Eastern Time Galaxy than anywhere else. But this planet is incredibly pink, literally everything is very bright pink, so if you're a fan of pink or flamingos or just fancy a change of scenery for your next base, then I'd say this paradise planet is for you. And to top it all off, it does also glow in the dark, like some of the other planets on this list, so winner winner, glowing pink paradise planet for dinner. And the portal coordinates you need to come and visit this awesome pink paradise planet are Face, Bird, Sunset, Rocket, Sunset, Bird, Galaxy, Dragonfly, Galaxy, Atlas, Eclipse and finally a Tent. Whilst you're here folks it would be totally awesome if you could support my channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. So switching up the colours yet again, this one is also not one I've seen very often and this is a blue paradise planet. There's no water on this planet or at least I didn't see any water when I was exploring which is a shame but we move. I think having a totally blue planet as your home planet is a good choice and this one offers some stunning views over the terrain. And once again at night time this planet and its plants glow in the dark. Now who doesn't love a glowing plant at night in No Man's Sky? 
One bonus of this blue planet in the system that it's in is that there is also a purple planet with ready purple water in the same system which is also a paradise planet, along with a few player created bases so don't say I don't treat you. So the portal coordinates to come visit this beautiful blue paradise planet and the purple paradise planet within the same system are balloon, bird, voxel, eclipse, sunset, bird, eclipse, diplo, fish, tent, sunset and finally a rocket. Next up I'm going to call this paradise planet the chameleon planet, why? Well because it has many different colours depending on where you're looking at and what time of day it is. So you'll notice during daylight hours the glass that you're walking on when you're close up is basically orange, yet when you look at the grass in the distance on the hill it looks very very blue. How that happens I do not know but it's pretty cool nonetheless and at night it switches it up again and the grass appears to be yellow and neither blue nor orange so go figure. The sky on this planet is also incredibly stunning so it's definitely a great planet for a base to enjoy the night sky on. Nice stars and a few planets in the distance. So the portal corners you need to come and visit this chameleon planet are Diplo, Sunset, Boat, Bug, Sunset, Bird, Diplo, Fish, Balloon, Sunset, Rocket and finally Voxel. And finally, how about this Earth-like paradise planet with blue skies, green grass, trees that even look like trees you'd find here on our green Earth. It's not very often you come across a paradise planet in no man's sky, let alone one that could be mistaken for the countryside here on Earth, but here we are. Now the only downside to this planet is there is no water, which is a damn shame, but I think the fact that the land looks very Earth-like really makes up for it, wouldn't you say? I'd certainly be tempted to create a base on this planet and I think I might do just that. Another bonus of this Earth-like planet is that it contains ancient bones, so if you're in need of a few million units then you're going to get a hell of a lot here. So the portal coordinates you're going to need to come visit this Earth-like planet are Balloon, Sunset, Bird, Balloon, Atlas, Atlas, Face, Bird, Face, Galaxy, Dragonfly and finally another Balloon. I would like to give a shout out to the legends on the subreddit r nms coordinate exchange and r nms underscore habitable planets for sharing these planets and their coordinates so that me, you and anyone else can go and check them out and create bases there. And there you have it folks, there are the portal coordinates to 5 paradise planets and one insanely awesome lush planet in the eastern time galaxy. If you're still here and you enjoyed this video it would be totally awesome if you could support my channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. I will be doing more amazing location videos like this in the future along with videos covering all other aspects of No Man's Sky like amazing bases, tutorials, updates, update rumours and much more so you don't want to miss out on those right? And as always thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.